Hey everyone, this is Lesh here from livinglesh.com. Great to see you all here on my channel. Um, today I'm actually going to be going through a kind of a tutorial slash review for the CoverGirl new blend, uh, CoverGirl new, um, uh, cut. let me see if I can get this, cut. All right, it's called the CoverGirl True Blend products. Um, so there's a collection of products such as the foundation, the primer, the concealer, all that and in between. Um, and then I'm gonna use some other products as we go through. And this one I'm kind of be getting, uh, getting ready with me as I get ready for kind of a day date with hubby. Um, and you know, hopefully little as little mister, he sits here and sleeps during most of it. Um, so you'll kind of see me go through all of this and you kind of hear what I'm thinking about it right at the end. Um, of how I think I look like my look and how the products are sitting. So I'm going to first start off with the True Bun Base Business. Um, it's a mattifying primer. Um, some people actually do their brows first before they um, prime. I prime first and then do my brows. So it's just kind of one of those things. Um, so the two that I saw, they have the mattifying one and then the um, hydrating one. So I'm just going to go with the mattifying for today. Um, I go in between matte and um, hydrating just depending on what I want to do. So, let's talk about a couple topics. So, the biggest thing that's been going on in my life right now is obviously that I had a baby. Um, and right now, he's about two months going on three months. So, you probably can see these under eye circles that are starting to come from the lack of sleep. Um, they do say, you know, you're not going to sleep as much as you can before you have a baby. It's really true. So... If you're about to have a baby or think of a baby, make sure you're sleeping plenty. So after I apply this um, primer, which I'm kind of like talking through this so it can kind of set in for a little bit, I'm going to go in with the my brows. That's what I'm doing my brows next. So there is the Easy Breezy Brow, which looks like it's a brush. If I can get this open. So it's a simple brush, kind of just going to brush that on there. So they have the three shades I saw. There is the darkest one because I have dark brows. They have a lighter brown and a medium brown. And then, of course, they have a, um, a gel to kind of set it. So we're going to get in here and apply this. My brows are a little thick right now just because, again, with the baby, I haven't really had time to go get them done, and I don't trust doing them myself all the time. So we're just going to have to go with the, the deep brow. Not sure how much of a fan I am with this just because it just seems like it kind of just lays on there versus like sculpting, which I usually like to do. But it could just be because I have thick brows right now. So, again, baby stuff right now. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but his monitor is on. He's actually sleeping in his crib. Today is, or this time is his nap. Um, he's a great napper. That's the one thing that he does well. He naps great. Um, the thing is that he likes to sleep on us the majority of the time. So, like, we usually put him to sleep on us and then put him down, which he does great with now. But we're trying to break him out of that habit and want him to go to sleep by himself. But it's a work in progress. I mean, he's only two months, so we'll get there. So I'm going to set these in with the gel and hopefully I'll be able to sculpt them up a little bit more later. And again, they're just kind of a little thick just because that's where my brows are right now. Next I'm going to apply my foundation. So hopefully the foundation um, will help do these, uh, fix these brows. So I have the True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Um, the shade I'm using is M60. So this is matte. So on top of the matte um, primer, I'm going to have this uh, matte foundation. Now, if you use the hydrating, they have the matte foundation. So sometimes I do see that um, when you put uh, hydrating, it kind of makes you a little bit glossy and hydrates. The matte does help to um, put it over there. So this one has a pump, um, which I'm always a fan of. And I'm going to pump some. Pump some onto a brush. Let's see if I can lock it. So I did about two pumps so far. I'm just gonna dot it around. I'm gonna do one more. And I'm gonna 
to smooth it through. So it's a little lighter. I'm hoping that when it dries, it sets. This is the color they sent me. Um, trying to match it. The one thing that I always have issues with is when they like send you questionnaires like what your your shade is online and they tell you to match the color they see on the screen and you're kind of just like that's what it looks like but it could be the resolution of your computer screen so it's always like harder for me but this actually doesn't seem like it's bad while it's blending into my natural skin tone I mean it's a little lighter but Going into the winter, this is actually going to work out because my skin's going to get lighter from the winter. Try to shape, cover up some of those dark spots that I created when I put the brows on. Alright, so we are all matted with the foundation. So I'm going to let this sit for a minute. I always let my foundation, like my primer sit, and I let my foundation sit just because I want it to kind of like not really absorbed into my skin, but kind of dry it before I start applying anything else. So while we're sitting here thinking about it, um, some more things with baby. The one thing that I've learned with his sleeping, um, he didn't really like being swaddled up after like one and a half months for him. You know, they keep saying swallowing your baby for as long as possible because they love it. He didn't like it. I don't think he likes to be restrained. All my stuff just fell, so just ignore that. Um, he's like being restrained, so we actually got the nested bean um, and the nested bean, uh, Zen sack, which actually has like a weight on the chest, like kind of like mimics the touch and he actually really likes that. So if your baby doesn't like to be swaddled, look into that. Um, I was a little hesitant. It was like, you know, I'm seeing all these, these things about it. It's probably not true, but it actually did work. So I'm going to cut here. We're going to pause for a minute just so I can fix my stuff and then we'll come back. All right, so I'm back. This sat long enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my concealer. Um, a little trick that I've learned with concealer is that if you actually get three shades, you could actually conceal, um, highlight, and contour all in one and kind of make a good shade. So the thing is, you get one, um, you get one concealer that's close to your foundation. You get another one that's two, that's one off from your foundation, and another one that's two off. So the first one is first to conceal. The second one is to kind of um, highlight, and the third one's more to contour. So I have three here. Um, I have these three. Again, all of this is True Blend. And I have the M500, which is soft tan. I have the M100, which is golden neutral. And then I have the M400, which is the warm nude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the M500 first, which you'll see. And then I'll apply the M400 underneath it and then the golden. So this one, 500, is, um, is concealing. 400 is highlighting more. And the last one is contouring. So I'm going to do, take this, you can see the application brush. And I'm just kind of going to create two lines underneath my eyes. Close it up. I'm going to take the next one, which again is the M400. So I, this is the M500 that's on. The M400 is next. I'm going to take that, put it right underneath. And then I'm going to take the M100, which is more for contour. I'm going to put one line right here, one good long line here. And I actually take this and kind of also do a faint line here and a little line here. And then one on my nose. And then one down the middle of my forehead. And one here. And one here. And then one on my chin. Now this is for contouring purposes. So again, I'm going to kind of let this sit in a little bit before I start blending it. Um, one, because what I've learned is that when you start actually blending out your concealer, um, before you let it kind of dry a little bit, what it does is actually just kind of smears around and doesn't actually go in. So I like to let it dry a little bit and let it set. Um, and then I kind of blend it out with a blender. So right now I'm going to be using my heart shape blender. It's kind of any blender. Um, I have a regular beauty blender, but it kind of just is dirty right now. Um, dirtier than this one, but I usually clean them off. I've just been, again, lazy with the baby. Um, so 
now that we are a little bit more drier, um, we're actually going to take not as dry as I want it to be. So I usually say about two to three minutes. So we're going to pause here again. I'm going to go check on the baby and then I'll be back. All right, baby's all good. About to blend. Um, the one thing is I always start with my under eyes and I go later just because it kind of brings some of that color over. Um, so yeah, let's blend this out. So I usually just kind of pat it. Don't, and you pat going down. Don't go up. So I usually pat going down, make sure to cover it up and try to stay in this one area so you can still get that one strip here. And then you blend it in. And I try to get as far underneath my eye and going up here to try to get more of a angle underneath my eye and to get rid of those circles. And then I try to create a triangle underneath my eye, if not like something just to kind of focus on my cheekbone. So don't worry if you get a little bit on your nose, because you'll get that later. And then pat this in. Pat that in. The baby's still sleeping. I'm just making sure he's comfortable. It's been hot in our house lately. Um, as you can see, this is dry, which is why it's sitting. So you just got to pat a little harder. Um, so I always like to check because I put like, um, I don't put a blanket on him, but I have his socks and pants on in the house. And I usually just wear like t-shirts. And they always say just put like one extra layer over or like as comfortable as you think he's going to be. And sometimes I think he's hot. Um, so I always want to make sure that like he's not overheating. And his room is like warmer than the rest of the house, um, because his room doesn't have a ceiling fan that cools it down. So I always like to just check on him to make sure he's not like sweating, because you can't obviously tell that in the monitor. So now that this is kind of blended in, which it looks kind of all over the place, we're getting there. And again, this is kind of for like a day-to-day -day look, or if you're going out someplace, it goes a lot faster if you're just kind of doing it once you get used to it. It's going slow here just because I'm explaining everything and talking through a lot. But like during the times where I'm like letting things dry, I'll do other stuff. So like I'll start like in my like, you know, just getting out of the shower and I'll do the first things. And then like as I'm letting the, um, you know, letting my foundation dry, I'll go put my clothes on um, or I'll let the put the mom um, the primer on and then i'll put the lotion or my clothes on and then you know i'll just do different things in between especially now with the baby um i like to do things like going back and forth so it's easy for me to get him dressed you know when i'm letting something dry so you just kind of go back and forth so the next thing i'm gonna do is put on this um the minerals it's the loose powder the loose mineral powder and right now i'm using banana and this is going to be for the contouring kind of effect and highlighting so this actually comes with a little poof in it, which I don't use the poof. I use a brush. Um, so I'm just going to get a little bit. And they have two. They do have like a loose one where it's like um, the transparent one. But you'll see that later. So I get a little bit. I always like shake off the ex excess and kind of, we're gonna, I guess what they say is bake here. I'm going to put this on. I put this on my under eye area and down here. So the one thing I've seen people do when they want things to dry, they actually get themselves like a little hand fan so it can go a lot faster. Um, so that's something you can definitely do if you want to. I just kind of like walk around and do random stuff. So again, we're going to take another pause because I want this to set in. And again, I'm going to wait like two minutes. So this will be like a time where I go get baby dressed or go like figure out my shoes or like fix my hair, which is going to come back. So you're going to see my hair. Um, not this bandana anymore because I get this, you know, my wigs. I like to get my wigs in my face and everything, but you'll see that. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply um, this bronzer. So I'm not using the... Um, any cover girl. I'm actually using Maybelline City Bronzer. So it's just kind of a shade where I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in between those spaces. So we'll start here, kind of going up. 
and I'm putting it in here. Up in here. And then I go along. That's what I always do. Baby's up. In case you can't hear him yet, he might start making noise. So if you hear him make noise, we're gonna have to pause. So now that I've done that, I'm actually just going to take the translucent powder and just kind of blend this all together. So I'll get a big brush, open up my translucent powder. Again, there's a puff in here too. This helps to kind of blend it and let it sit or and set it. Take that, get rid of any access. And then what I also do, once that's all set in, is take, let me grab this real quick, my Cover FX loose powder, and it's actually a tinted powder. Um, so I get a little bit of that, and I go over it to kind of darken up my complexion a little bit, since now it's gotten lighter and to blend it a little more. So you can kind of see that the color's coming back, which is what I want. Getting down to the, the low part of this, which I gotta keep shaking it. It's like almost out, that's how much I use it. My little neck is just in there laying a bit plain, which is fine. So that's basically it. With the, kind of the, all the cover all stuff, so I'm gonna finish this up. Finish my eyes, put a little lip on, and then bring the baby out and we'll all be ready. Actually, I take that back. There's one more thing. There is the CoverGirl True Blend Super Center. This is the Hyper Glow Highlighter. So I'm going to take kind of an angled brush, get a little bit on there. I don't do a lot of highlighter and just kind of put it on my cheekbone. Just kind of right there. And then kind of just brush it out. All right, now we're good with all the CoverGirl stuff. So let me go get the baby. So now we're all set. Um, baby's all dressed, um, ready to go out, um, and usually at probably at this stage, I usually take him to like my parents or my mom's or my sisters or you know the family members so they can watch him um, while hubby and I either go out for a date night or wherever. So with this finished look, I put my mascara on, my eyeliner, put a nice little um, lip on. I put this on because it goes with the red in my dress, um, and then we're off to go. So. Hopefully you got something out of this small kind of makeshift tutorial. Um, we're doing better ones, more reviews on the different brands that I'm getting um, once you kind of see more. So overall, the CoverGirl True Blend products, I actually do like them. So even kind of like looking at my look, I do like how um, the concealer worked out as well as um, the different mattifying products. I do feel like my face is matte um, and everything looks really good. Um, and sitting here, I don't feel like I'm burning up, like even though it's hot in the house, um, cause our heat is on in this winter, getting winter cold, which is fall cold. Um, but I don't feel like my face can't breathe. That's always really important to me. If my face can't breathe underneath my makeup, um, uh, it's not worth wearing, especially underneath my foundation. If I immediately put my foundation on and I can't feel like my skin can breathe, I immediately take it off just because I don't want to feel uncomfortable the entire time or feel like I'm melting in the middle of nowhere. Um, but everything else really is like on top notch. I feel like if my brows were actually done, it'd have been like a lot better to put on. The only thing I usually like to do is I like to fade it. So like it's usually like lighter and then gets darker towards the end, which is why I usually use a cream and sculptor. Um, but if I really want to do like a quick brow in the morning, it's probably what I end up using, especially like when I go back to teaching, um, putting that on the morning, it still lets me get like a brow definition without sitting there and actually going through the whole process. Um, so these products are great. Um, they're great, like, you know, in-store buy if you can, like, instead of going to Ulta or Sephora, which you can still get them there, but if, like, you're going to a drugstore or a Target and you need to grab something really quick, um, I would recommend these, um, CoverGirl products.